Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to add a site verification file to your website. There's a number of different services out there and websites, uh, primarily Google. I think most people see that with Google, uh, that you need to upload a verification file to prove to them that you're the owner and can actually manage that uh, particular service for that particular uh, website. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you how to download a Google verification file uh, when adding a site to Google Webmaster Tools and then upload that uh, and confirm that with Google themselves. So uh, first thing you'll do is click the uh, service in this particular case. It's the Google Webmaster Tools and you can see that I've added the website here but I don't have access to this property. I need to verify first. So click to verify and there's a couple of different ways you can do it. The recommended method is the HTML verification file. Uh, there's alternate methods where you uh, make some DNS changes, add a tag to the site, but those are all pretty cumbersome. This is definitely the easiest way to do it. You just click download this, or excuse me, download the HTML file here. Uh, and one thing that people make a mistake here, and I'll point this out, uh, let's go ahead and we'll open up the downloads folder. Uh, you'll notice that there, this is the file name they're looking for. Now, I'm going to go ahead and download this again. And it downloaded a second copy, but added a one, and I'll download it again. And the reason why I'm droning on about this is because we get the, uh, this request a lot of the times when they say when a, a client will upload a verification file, uh, but it doesn't accept it. It's because they're uploading this, these duplicate files and not the original. Um, this is a standard uh, uh, function of a computer is to download the file again, not overriding the existing one, and then appending a number uh, in series to ensure that you understand that there are different files. So make sure you're uploading the original when doing this. I uh, didn't want to get sidetracked too much there, but that is important when doing that. So uh, now that I have the file, the next step is upload the file to the website. So let's go ahead and do that. and then file followed by page settings and you can see here you have a number of different things you can upload sitemap verificon verification file this is the one that i want just click upload go to downloads and then again you want to upload that original and then save the page and go back to the search console now to confirm you click this link and you can see that it gives you a valid link because that file exists. Once I've done that, verify that I'm not a robot and then click verify and boom, that's it. Now when I click continue, I'll go back to my search console and, and, and we have, uh, I'm now able to manage that website to its fullest. Uh, again, this is a service or, or a procedure that you'll have to do with a number of different things. Uh, even Pinterest has a site verification process. Uh, but the process is the same in terms of what you do on the website. How it's performed on that particular uh, service, such as Pinterest or Bing or Google or whatever, uh, may vary a little bit, but you're going to use the same verification file uploader uh, under File, Page Settings, and then Upload the Verification File. That's it. If you have any other questions about adding a verification file to your website or anything in general to Web Starts, be sure to let us know. Thank you.